Hi everybody, James from Centurion running here with the 2018 version of the video How to Pack Your Mandatory Gear for Ultra Distance Trail Events. I'm going to pack three race vests today. I'm going to pack the Salomon Sense Ultra 8 set. I'm then going to pack the 2018 Ultimate Direction version 4 men's mountain vest. And then thirdly, the 2018 Ultimate Direction version 4 women's ultra vesta. Before I pack any of those vests, I'm going to show you how to put the, the gear that you're only going to use in emergency situations, stuff you don't need during the race, in a dry bag, three litre dry bag, to go in the rear of any of those vests. If you want to see a specific vest packed, you can use the links below uh, to skip to the part where I pack one of those specific vests. So to begin with, the dry bag and what we're going to put in there, as just discussed, is the gear that I only need or we only need in case of an emergency situation. First and foremost, base layers top and bottom. Now I'm going to show you what we consider to be the best pieces of kit for Spring Summer 18. The base layer we've chosen is the Lasportiva Troposphere. It weighs 180 grams. It's incredibly warm and comfortable. The women's version, the Neptune, uh, exactly the same uh, style. Folded up as small as I can get it in that dry bag. Montaigne Men's Via Trail Tight. There's a women's version too. Again, superb piece of kit. Very simple, effective. Again, packing those down to a small size. I'm actually packing men's large in each of these items just to show that uh, the size of the clothing doesn't have to affect your ability to get it in the dry bag. And then lastly, the Salomon Bonatti waterproof trouser, 10,000 10, milliliter hydrostatic head, 180 grams. Minimal, but superbly efficient piece of kit. So I've got three items of clothing in that dry bag. I've then got some other bits and pieces. Um, Survival blanket, 2 by one4 meters. First aid kit, including a bandage, safety pins, alcohol wipes, plasters. Whistle. Hat, warm hat, that's a 2018 Last Receiver Belay Beanie. Super comfortable, lightweight. I've then got a pair of waterproof gloves. This Salomon Bonatti waterproof mitten is excellent because the mitten part of the glove folds back so you can get access to your fingers. Uh, should you be wearing a liner glove, which I would always recommend inside the waterproof glove. 400 calories of spare food. That's mandatory for things like Lakeland 100, although Centurion running events, we don't mandate you carry that stuff. And then lastly, the Petzl E-Light, which is uh, an emergency lamp. It's got a draw cord that goes around your head. It's also got a flashing red LED. If a flashing red LED on the rear of your pack is part of mandatory kit, it's a good option. And lastly, a spare battery for my main lamp, which I'll come to in a minute. So for all three of the vests, I would do the same thing. I would pack all that gear together, uh, seal it, compress it in a three litre dry bag. And you've then got a, uh, a package roughly the size of a small loaf of bread that slips neatly into the rear of any one of those vests. So the first race vest I'm gonna pack is the Salomon Sense Ultra 8 set. The first thing I'm gonna do is stick my nice, neat uh, bundle of um, survival or emergency gear in the rear of this race vest. It's just one simple deep pocket that slots nicely in there. I'm then gonna put the vest on to pack the rest of it. Everything else I'm gonna put in this, I'm likely to need during the race, or most definitely gonna need during the race. So first things first, two, two soft, soft flasks. These are 500 milliliters each, they're called speed flasks this year, and uh, they're better uh, improved versions of previous editions, hard bottom, wide mouth top. The hard bottom means that if the flask is empty or half full, you can still push them down deep into the pockets. Uh, it keeps more of a rigid structure. The wide mouth top allows them to be filled up quicker. I've got two cups. I've got the Hydropack Speed Cup for my soft drinks. That collapses down to nothing. Most, event, most events nowadays are saying uh, no cups being provided, obviously to lessen environmental impact of events. And uh, I've got my Light My Fire Pack Up Cup. Now this is uh, for hot drinks, it's got a rigid rubber bottom and a hard plastic top. So it will stand up on its own and I can hold it with hot liquid inside, it compresses into its lid, brilliant. My head torch is Petzl Reactic Plus. This is programmable using uh, Bluetooth and an app on your phone. So it, you can set it for the exact amount of time uh, that darkness uh, will be during the race. So you know your battery's not gonna die, albeit I've got the spare in the rear anyway. Gloves and a buff. I would say those are the two primary things I'd be taking on and off to regulate temperature, um, especially in the mountains. 
I'm going to have access to those up front at all times. I've got a map and compass too, mandatory for some events, uh, certainly for Lakeland, uh, where you also have the road book. A waterproof phone case from Xped. You don't want your phone breaking. You put that in the side with your phone in it usually. <laughs> Cheer charge bar. That's the first part of my nutrition. There's 400 calories there or near to 400 calories. I could easily get another two or three in the side pocket there. Now my nutrition strategy, each to their own, gel based, goo energy gels, 100 calories, really small. I can get 20 plus gels in this front left pocket, absolutely no problem at all. I'm gonna pack a dozen or more today just to show, show you how easy they go in and how much more space there is in the front. Because this pack fits so well, this vest fits so well, there's no bounce from them. Okay, I could easily get another 10 gels in there, no problem. Two things that aren't on any mandatory kit list, but are mandatory as far as I'm concerned. Uh, body glide, chafing, still the bane of any ultra distance runner. Shit kit. There's two, two top pockets in this vest, uh, which fit those two things perfectly. Now I'm missing something, my jackets. I'm gonna carry two, and I'd really recommend doing the same. Firstly, a windproof, very versatile, an extra layer, uh, if it's cold, um, if it's not wet, more functional than a waterproof in many ways, packs down to 80 grams, uh, less than the size of my fist, goes in the rear of the pack, in the kangaroo vest, uh, kangaroo pocket in the back, so I can get access to that any time. Now my waterproof jacket, this is the 2018 Hale jacket from La Sportiva. There's a men's and a women's version. It's a 20,000 mil hydrostatic head, 20K breathability. Uh, to cut through the jargon, it means it's uh, exceptionally waterproof, very breathable, and the hard shell material for us stands it above the other lightweight waterproofs on the market that are using Pertex at the moment. It's personal preference, but that's what we believe. I'm gonna go ahead and put these Innovate race sleeves on first. The reason is, if you have skin in contact with uh, the jacket, firstly, you sweat directly into the jacket, which makes it wet on the inside, and secondly, it cools you down quicker because it's in contact with the water on the outside. I can then put my jacket over the entire lot, waterproofing my whole uh, system, my whole setup in one fell swoop. What I would say is, if you've got a jacket that's reasonably tight or you've got full soft glass in the front, you will struggle to get that over everything. Don't buy a bigger jacket just so that it goes over the lot. Try and pick a jacket that's a good size. So if your jacket's too big and has creases, water will pool in it and then it will leak. So that's the 2018 Salomon Sense Ultra 8 set, loaded, ready to go with all my mandatory gear for any ultra distance training. So next vest I'm gonna pack is the 2018 Ultimate Direction version four men's mountain vest. Uh, brand new race vest for 2018, capacity of nine and a half liters with another four liters of unsecured capacity in the back. The main benefit of this pack um, to me is the cinch system. It means you can get the pack fitting really, really comfortably. Uh, around you which is easily accessible from two cords in the back and I'll show you how to fit that at the end. Uh, this race vest also is significantly more comfortable than the version 3 signature series vest in my opinion because the material is far softer and it's also more elasticated which means that you can fit more in those pockets than you used to be able to. So I'm going to go ahead and load this up. Uh, first things first, all my uh, survival emergency gear is in that dry bag going in the rear of the vest. There's plenty more space in there that I'm not gonna use and a zip pocket in the top, which I'm just completely ignoring for now. I'm gonna go ahead and put my two jackets, and as per the last video, I'm gonna recommend Karen Windproof. Again, 80 grams, scrunches down to the size of my fist. There's an extra layer for all kinds of different reasons worth having in this rear pouch. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my jacket in there too. Once again, this is the uh, La Sportiva Hail um, jacket, men's and women's, variety of colours, our pick of the waterproof, lightweight waterproof jackets for 2018. 20,000 mil hydrostatic head, 20k breathability, really great hood on it, and in our opinion, the hard shell material stands up far better to rough weather than the Pertex material that we see on most of the other lightweight waterproofs in the market at the moment. Hence the reason we're recommending to our runners to carry the hail for this year. So I'm going to go ahead and put that vest on now and pack the rest of the gear on board. Obviously with the stuff in the back, the only things I need in the front are the things that I'm going to use actually on the run. So I'm left with just the essentials and my nutrition. 
I'm going to use this front left pocket, which has got a lot of uh, stretch to it, to stuff a lot of the kit that is going to be used at times, but not regularly. So first things first, the head torch, either on or off normally. Um, this is the Petzl Reactic Plus. It, it's a Bluetooth lamp, which means it syncs with an app on your phone, and then you can then set uh, the watch, the um, battery to last the exact amount of time that you're going to need it to work for, i.e. the length of darkness in the race. Two cups, Hydro Pack Speed Cup for soft drinks, scrunches down to nothing, and then a Light My Fire Pack Up Cup. And I'm going to carry this as well because this has got a rigid rubber bottom and packs into the lid, but is applicable for hard uh, for um, hot drinks. You can you can easily hold that with hot liquid inside it, and it's rigid, so it stands on its own. That goes in the front too. I'm also going to go ahead and pop in my compass. Not many races mandate carrying a compass these days. A lot of events are marked, but in the UK, carrying a compass is always wise um, and abroad. Uh, and then my map. I'm going to go ahead and stick all of that stuff in the front left pocket. There's actually more space in there that I'm not going to use, uh, but that's there's plenty, plenty of room in there, and none of that stuff is coming out. In terms of additions, I've got my gloves up front. I'm going to use those, and I'm going to use my buff to regulate my temperature on and off throughout the race. So if I start getting cold, the first thing I'm going to do is put my buff on. There's a nice little side pocket here, um, which the buff will go into. I could also tie that around my wrist quite easily. And then a side pocket in this side for my gloves. Again, there tend to be things that you take on and off at times. Um, so you want decent reasonable access to them. By having them in the zip pockets in the side, you can do that. I've then got my waterproof phone case. I'm going to slip that in one of these bungee pockets in the front. That will easily take my phone. I've got my two 500ml soft flasks. These are body bottle version 4 that come with this vest. And in fact, all the UD vests this year have them. They've got locks on them and they're bite valve. And they are an improvement, in my opinion, on previous versions of the body bottles. Um, they fit great and they feel, um, feel quite comfortable in the front of the vest. I've got my body glide. Not mandatory kit, but might as well be because... You want to avoid chafing and ruin your race. There's a, a little Velcro slip pocket up here, which is great. That's actually um, right on the top of the vest. And then also my shit kit, which I'm going to go ahead and put on the other side, um, which I'll use uh, hopefully uh, never, but uh, quite often required. And then all I'm left with after that is my nutrition. So. I've gone ahead and uh, packed uh, 12 energy gels here just to show the space for nutrition. I would be using these front pockets in front of the soft flask for these nutri for my nutrition for this uh, race vest. And I would go ahead and also um, pop my uh, additional gels and also I've got a cheer charge bar of 400 calories here in the front right zip pocket. So that means in total in this vest right now I've got 1600 calories in the front, 400 in the back. Uh, really quite comfortably. Um, if I wanted to carry more than that, I could easily do so. I'm going to show you as well just how to slip the um, jacket on over the lot to waterproof your entire system in one fell swoop. And actually doing that um, is reliant on the soft flask in the front not being full. If you've got full soft flask in the front of your race vest, you will struggle to get a jacket over the top of everything. So again, using that pouch in the back, I can withdraw the jacket without taking the vest off. If my soft flasks aren't full, I can slip the jacket on and waterproof my entire system in one go. Now, it's not worth buying a jacket that's too big just to be able to do this. I would advise instead getting a jacket, taking the vest off, putting the jacket on and putting the vest back over the top. That's really nice to be able to do, it's perfectly comfortable and obviously now everything's waterproofed but it can be too tight on the front then um, if you've got full flask and isn't practical. If your jacket's too big, it will crease, the water will pool in it, uh, and that's not good either because it will leak. So that's the 2018 Ultimate Direction Men's Mountain Vest loaded and ready to go with all my mandatory equipment. The final vest I'm going to pack today is the 2018 Ultimate Direction Version 4 Women's Ultra Vesta. This is a continuation from the men's mountain vest, the same cinch system in the rear, which is brilliantly effective 
at allowing you to bring the pack tight in and fit really comfortably and reduce bounce. The materials are once again softer and more elasticated than they have been in the past and overall this fits far more like a piece of clothing than the version 3 vests which were more pack like in my opinion. So loading this, again we're going to start with our uh, mandatory kit that we're hoping not to use. Simply slips in the back, there's a big L shaped pocket on this vest uh, and there's absolutely ample space to fit that whole dry bag in and a whole lot more if you needed to. So that's gone in there. I'm going to put my two jackets, one of which is going to be mandatory and the other isn't, in the rear so that I can reach them on the move. The first is my windproof, hugely versatile, allows me to get an extra free layer effectively for nothing but also allows me to, to use it as a windproof rather than a waterproof if conditions are suitable for that. 80 grams, packs down to nothing in that kangaroo pouch in the back. My waterproof for La Sportiva Hail, as discussed in the previous segments. 20,000 mil hydrostatic head, 20k breathability, superb hood, tape seams, our pick of the waterproof jackets on the market at the moment. This uh, hard shell material stands up much better to rough weather than the Pertex shield that you see on a lot of the higher end minimal waterproofs at the moment. So that last two jacket comes in a range of colours, men's and women's, in Oz, our pick for um, the jacket of this season. Now there are two zip pockets in the, in the back here um, of the Ultra Vesta. You'll find that, well I'm finding that the top one you can't access, um, I'm not very flexible, but you can't access it when it's on. Whereas the rear one, the bottom rear one, you can. So I would recommend putting bits and pieces that you're probably not going to use that readily in the top one and bits that you're going to use a lot or you know certainly on and off in the bottom one. So in my top one, I'm hoping that I won't need my map and compass because my race is marked. If it wasn't and I needed them regularly, they'd be in the bottom. I'm going to put those in the top for now. I'm also going to put my um, head torch. Go ahead and put my head torch in that top one on the basis it will come on or it will come off and that will be job done for the headlamp. Remember to lock it before you put it in your bag because otherwise it switches itself on and dies. That Petzl Reactic Plus, by the way, has Bluetooth uh, technology which links to an app and you can set that to uh, the exact burn time that you require for your event. So say your nighttime portion of your run is eight hours, you set that lamp to burn on its maximum brightness for eight hours. Job done, no running out in the middle of the night uh, and wondering where you are. Uh, so in the bottom rear pocket, I'm gonna go ahead and put my body glide, which on and off, probably gonna need. Uh, my shit kit, easily accessible. And then uh, my Cheer Charge uh, bar, which is just a little bit of real food. It's each their own with nutrition. I'm packing mostly energy gels in here because that's what I use during a race. But you use whatever you feel you're, you're most comfortable with. Sorry, and finally my uh, waterproof phone case that would take my race phone in it. Um, I would always recommend taking a cheap, cheap um, pay-as-you-go phone as opposed to your full phone anyway, just in case you... You break it during a race or it gets wet, but that waterproof phone case will cover, your, cover you nicely. If I then put this on, um, I can pack in the front of it then the, the rest of the essential items that I'm definitely gonna need during the event. The pockets on this vest are really, uh, really a, a big improvement on previous editions because there's finally there's some stretch to them, so you can get a lot inside. Uh, as I just mentioned, I'm gonna go ahead and pack 12 gels in the front. So, so far calorie wise in this vest on top of mandatory gear, I've got 1200 calories worth of goo in the front. I've got 400 calories worth of goo as emergency food. And then I've got my cheer charge bar. I could easily get a whole lot more than all of that in there. So that's 10 in that pocket with more room to spare. Just a couple in this pocket together with my two cups, a hydro pack speed cup, scrunches down to nothing, good for soft drinks. Not good for hot drinks. My light, my fire pack up cup, which has got a rigid hard rubber bottom on it and a, and a uh, lift top cap, which means that I can hold and take and carry or even stand up uh, for, with hot drinks inside, um, should I require. Those two bits are in the zip pockets in the front. Just to reiterate, there's loads more space in those pockets if I wanted it. And to finish, the two body bottles that come with the, ver the version four vests. These have locking caps and bite valves there are an improvement, significant improvement on previous editions of this vest. So that's my 2018 
Ultra Vesta um, ready to go. The only other thing to show you really is how the waterproof might fit over the top. Once again, as per the previous vests, make sure when you're putting your waterproof on, you try and cover your arms in some way. Just because um, if you're sweating directly into the jacket or your skin is in contact with wet fabric on the outside, you will chill very quickly. So I put my sleeves on first, but then reach behind me and grab my jacket, which I can do without taking the vest off. I'm gonna use these cords to tighten at the front, and these are on sliding rails here. So if the, if the vest is full, it fits quite differently to if it's quite empty, they're really useful. And that cinch system to bring everything in tight. So that now fits absolutely snug as you, as you could want. Last thing is the jacket over the top. As per the other vests, if you fill your flasks up and you have a fairly close fitting waterproof, you simply won't be able to do this. So you'd need to take off the pack, put the jacket underneath. That's, uh, that's highly likely to be the case unless you've got a race with much less mandatory gear or a very large waterproof. Uh, it's not worth shopping for a waterproof, in my opinion, that's that big because uh, the water will pull in the creases and it will leak. If you happen to be able to get your normal size waterproof over the top of everything and waterproof everything in one fell swoop, great. Otherwise, as I say, just take the uh, pack off and put the vest off, the jacket on underneath. So that's my 2018 Ultimate Direction Ultra Vesta, lock loaded, ready to go with all my mandatory gear.